Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be revolved around this baby right here. It is the Morphe 350 palette and I finally got my hands on one of them. This is what it looks like. I am in love with it. So, as you can see, there is a lot of colors, a lot of warm colors. This is a great palette for fall. Just one palette, you don't have to worry about taking different palettes with you for going somewhere or loose individual shadows. You just have kind of a range of whatever you could possibly want in the warm, neutral department. So this is the look that I came up with for today. So if you like this look and want to see how I got it, please keep watching. Starting with foundation, I am mixing the L'Oreal True Match and the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. And I am applying that with the Sigma Flat Top F80 Kabuki Brush. <laughs> RCMA VK11 palette. I'm taking this third shade in. It's just a few shades darker than my natural skin tone. And I am using the Sigma Precision Tapered P86 brush. And I am just carving out the hollows in my cheeks, the sides of my forehead and my temples, my jawline, and also the sides of my nose. <laughs> using the same brush that I use to apply my foundation except for when I get to my nose I'm going to use my fingers to blend it out because it just makes it a little bit easier <laughs> Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown as usual, so I'm not going to spend much time on this because I'm going in the same as I always do, so I'm just going to go through this really quick and move on. <laughs> This is the Morphe 350 palette. I finally got my hands on one. I'm so excited. So to start off, I'm using this shade right here. They don't have any names. I'm just going to point to them, and I'm going to put that all over from lash line to brow bone. Then taking these matte light browns, I'm going to pop those in the crease from inner corner to outer corner. And then going in with these two slightly darker matte brown shades, I'm going to apply those in the same area. I'm just slowly darkening the crease and then taking these two orange shades, a lighter orange and a darker orange, I'm going to apply this in the same area but lower than I did the brown colors. And by now you might be thinking I'm using a lot of shades and I am, but they're right there and it's so hard not to so you don't have to use as many shades. I just prefer to. So taking this darker red brown shade and a smaller brush, I'm going to really drive this into the crease from inner corner to outer corner to really deepen it. And I'm also going to apply it on the outer corner and the inner corner, being sure to leave the center of my lid blank because I have plans for that later. And then going back in and blending it all out. And if you are wondering, this is the Sigma E25 blending brush. Then I'm taking this matte dark brown at the bottom of the palette and I'm drawing a very sharp V in my outer corner. This is just to really deepen it further and make it more dramatic and again go in and blend that out. Then taking a shadow crayon, this is from Beauty Basics in the shade Sahara Gold. I'm just going to apply that on the center of my lid just so the shadow I'm about to use will really stick and pop. And I'm using this shimmery champagne gold color, and I'm just going to take a flat shadow brush and pack that all over the center of my lid where I just put that cream shade. Then for concealer, I'm using the 
Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Concealer and the NYX Concealer in the shade Yellow. I am putting the Urban Decay Concealer everywhere that I normally do, under my eyes, set on my forehead, down my nose, and my chin. And then the Yellow Concealer I'm just putting under my eyes for a little extra brightness. And then I'm blending that out with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge or something like that. Um, I've been liking this one a lot more than the Beauty Blender lately. I am using it wet just like the Beauty Blender. Um, it's a lot cheaper and you can get it at Ulta. Then to set my under eyes, I am looking up and making sure to pat out the creases. And I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder and a tapered brush that fits well up under my eyes. And while I'm still looking up, I'm going to pat that powder so that there aren't any creases. And I am also going to use this to set the rest of where I put my concealer. Then for the lower lash line, I'm using the same range of colors I used on my lid, starting with the lighter brown shades all along my lash line, and then the darker brown just on the outer half, and then taking a pencil brush and that darker orange shade, I'm going to smudge that all along the bottom for a more smoky effect. Then taking the first shade in the palette, just a matte cream color, I'm going to highlight under my brow bone and also on my inner corner. Then I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara. This is the Maybelline Colossal, I believe, because I am going to be going in with lashes, and these are the House of Lashes Iconic. I've been loving these lashes lately. They are super fluffy, and they have a really nice band. I've used these so many times, and they are still going strong. So I would definitely recommend these lashes. Moving on to bronzer. This is the Hoola bronzer from Benefit. And I'm just going to go through and put this everywhere that I put that cream color from the RCMA palette. All over my cheeks, sides of my forehead, temples, jawline, and the sides of my nose. <laughs> This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay in the shade Tipsy. It is just a light peachy pink color. So I'm just going to dust that on my cheeks. And for highlight, as usual, I'm using Champagne Pop. And I am just going to apply that to the tops of my cheeks, down my nose, chin, Cupid's bow, all of the usual places. Then taking a black liner, this is Perversion from Urban Decay. I am just going to line my lower waterline. And then moving on to lips, I'm using the NYX pencil in the shade Prune. And I'm going to outline my lips and then fill them in. <music> I'm using the LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss in the shade Rebel, and I love this color. It is such a beautiful berry color. I love these shades, especially for fall. It's super bold. It's super pretty, so I definitely recommend this shade. And after that, this look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it turned out really well. It's a beautiful look for fall. And I'm definitely loving this palette, especially for the fall. It's the perfect range of colors, so I highly recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <music>